Good morning, YouTube. It's Universal Fragrances here, back with another video. Now, I have done a top five men's fragrances or most masculine fragrances for the House of Bond number nine. So naturally, I took those top two to put them in this. But I really wanted to make this video about some of the other fragrances that I truly believe are just for men in my collection. And you may have seen in my shorts video where I put Triumph of Bacchus in there. And then I started thinking, you know, if a woman really, really likes tobacco, she could definitely pull off uh, Triumph of Bacchus. I'm sure there's probably a lot of women out there that do love that and wear it. So I actually ended up going with Bravito Della Cassia, which is a much more animalic, outdoor, leathery, birch, uh, green fragrance. So also uh, with Interlude and Epic that I chose for a moage, I probably could have put some tobacco fragrances in there like Journeyman, Boundless, Royal Tobacco, but these two in particular I do feel are are overly masculine. That's kind of the point of this video. So I'm not going to rank these like one through five, but I'm just going to go over them and kind of let you guys get how I feel about them and how much I like them. So let's go ahead and start in the middle here with Bravito Della Cassia from the House of Argos. Man, this was my first fragrance from the House of Argos. There's a reason I got a 30 ml. Um, I regret doing that now. I wish I would have bought a 100 ml of it, but Man, it's, I don't know how, really how to give an accurate description of this. It's very animalic and outdoor, like I said in the beginning, but how about a new car parked in an old forest <laughs> with the fresh leather seats, very expensive, maybe a Mercedes leather, like the old Mercedes. If anyone had an old Mercedes in like the 80s or 90s, you kind of know what I'm talking about, that fresh, clean leather oh man this stuff is just so good it's got a little bit of sweetness to it i think it's got sage and juniper at the top but overall it's just very outdoorsy very green leather it's got matte oil fluve birch i mean this is just a wonderful fragrance one of my favorites from the house of argos i'll be wearing it a couple more times and then putting it on the shelf as we go into uh fall and winter and then next you know spring and summer this is probably going to be finished and i'll probably end up having to buy 100 ml of this so bravito della cassia from the house of argos wonderful stuff now wall street bond number nine how could i not put this on the list man it's very green marine it's salty you really get the vetiver and the sea kale and the ozone and the cucumber a little bit of lavender, so, so I think there's some woods in here at the base as well. And of course, the main component, which makes me really love this fragrance and makes it stand out for me, and I hope they never change it, even if they do have to slightly raise the price, is they use real ambergris in this, one of the most natural smelling scents. And it does have, again, a kind of slight freshly printed paper, dollar bill, slight ink note to it. But man, you guys just have to smell this, um, especially for men, very masculine, very powerful. Something about this fragrance, of course, I know it says Wall Street, so that may just be part of the name, but the way this smells, it just smells like you got your stuff together. So Wall Street from Bond Number no. 9, beautiful fragrance. I would recommend you guys try it out. Um, I know Bowtie Fragrance Guy, when he discovered this, this is one of his favorites. He had a 50 ml before, must have been a bad batch. Didn't like it. He got 100 ml. It's one of his new favorites from Bond Number no. 9. So that just speaks a lot about it with all the fragrances that he has. I think I got a lot of fragrances. He's probably got 10 times the amount of I, as I do. So, man, a moage epic. I've had this in a couple videos. It's got kind of like a berry essence at the top. And to me, it really smells like kind of like an oriental blue fragrance. But that blue fragrance on your skin, at least for me, it goes away after the first like 30 to 45 minutes. And then you really get some of the, the spices like the myrtle, the cardamom, the oud. I believe it's got musk at the base too, man. There's just a ton of ingredients in Amouage Epic, man. Like a lot of the Amouages, but this along with Jubilation has a ton. And even the Epic Woman, which one of my longtime subscribers, Man Glorious, uh, has mentioned. Even the Epic Woman in the Epic Woman 56, a lot of men seem to like that as well. So even the Epic Woman you could probably put on this list because that is actually slightly uh, masculine the way it's done from a moage. So, but Epic Man, to me, this is just a beautiful fragrance. I'm going to be wearing it a lot. Very versatile. You could wear it during cooler or warm weather with the way the opening and the dry down is. So one of my favorites from the House of Amouage. I think it's very uh, underrated and slept on. Now, this is the number one fragrance from my Bond Number no. 9 video. 
and this is the Novu Bowery. And Novu Bowery is something that you don't hear spoken about from the House of Bond number no. nine very often. Man, it's just got a beautiful kind of violet wood note in the middle of the top where it's got the lime, thyme, and basil and Italian mandarin. Very citrusy, clean, herbal, slightly soapy. Oak moss in the dry down as well. Beautiful oak moss note in this along with the, the violet wood. This is just a very unique fragrance. Very masculine, very clean, mossy, earthy, woody. I mean, I just don't know how this doesn't get more attention. The opening may be too strong for people because it's just so citrusy and bright and herbal, uh, but that doesn't last that long in terms of how the opening comes across when you first spray it on. You know, that maybe lasts 30 to 45 minutes or so, and then you really start getting more into the middle and the bass notes. And this has beast mode projection because of the oak moss and a lot of long longevity as well. So man, Novu Bowery, Hard to go wrong with this. Definitely all these fragrances I tried to pick to where a woman wouldn't want to wear them or couldn't wear them. Obviously you can wear anything you want, but a lot of women, you know, if they cross over into that category where they may like some men's fragrances, these would probably be some of the, the last ones they would choose to wear. So no going wrong with Novu Bowery. Great fragrance from Bond number no. nine. Not spoken about very much, but I hold this in high regards, um, almost as highly as Riverside Drive, which I'm actually wearing Riverside Drive right now and I put it on at 5 a.m. this morning when I woke up and it's still going strong. It's six hours later basically right now. So one of the best fragrances for men, Novu Bowery, Bond number nine. You guys already know what it is. Interlude 53, The Blue Beast, even the regular Interlude or Interlude Black Iris you could put on this list, but this is what I chose to buy a full bottle of after sampling the normal Interlude and the Interlude uh, Black Iris from some sample packs that I had gotten. All three are great. One thing I love about what the Interlude 53 does over the Interlude uh, regular is that higher concentration actually brings out a little more sweetness and woods and of that pimento berry. And the oregano is still in there, but because the other notes are so heightened, you don't really get too much of that herbal, like smoky oregano. You got the agar wood in there. Just, man, I just don't know how enough good things to say about this fragrance. I get complimented on it a lot. A lot of people ask what I'm wearing, say, oh, it smells a little smoky, a little sweet. And man, it's just something that I could smell all day. It's, it's just a beautiful fragrance. I feel like the 53, you know, percent oil concentration really adds to the richness of this. Even the regular interlude and the regular interlude black iris, which are about 20, Four to 25 percent oil concentration i believe those are still beast mode and in fact because of that oil concentration you actually may project more with the regular interlude and the interlude black iris for the first hour because that fragrance is evaporating off your skin quicker because the oil concentration is lower it will not last as long but that's a common misconception when you get into extrates and stronger perfumes and this is not my opinion you can hear roja dove speak about this as well on his YouTube channel. But that's why an EDT and a cologne, they're so strong to project for the first 30 minutes to maybe 45 minutes for those types of fragrances because they're so volatile and there's so much alcohol in them, they're just evaporating off your skin like nobody's business. But then after an hour and a half, you can hardly even smell them. So man, this one, you're literally looking at 24 to 36 hours of longevity. This is something you could almost wear two days in a row with the second day, you know, maybe just spray a light spray um, two or three sprays and you're still wearing the fragrance from yesterday. So you're just kind of revamping it almost. That's been my experience with the Moage Interlude 53. So certainly one of the best true masculine men's fragrances out there. If you do have the means and you're looking for something special or maybe an excuse to buy something special, whether it's a birthday, Christmas gift for yourself, whatever it may be, I would recommend going, uh, after the 53 and paying the extra money for the X straight. They macerate it and age it at their factory as well. I think it's like six to nine months um, that goes through a process of, of maceration and aging there. And then they release it after they, uh, they age it in a large vat. And man, it's, it's just hard to go wrong with any of these fragrances. Even a date night. I know I just did a recent date night video, but these would be uh, pretty good for a date night, I believe. Maybe too strong on Interlude 53. That may be a little risky, but I think you would get compliments on it. I certainly do. So guys, let me know some of your top five most masculine fragrances down below, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.